uh, as you know, HVDC, uh, there are two uh, technologies possible, uh, currently two portfolios, like uh, we have line committed converters uh, using uh, thyristor valves as a switching device. Uh, and uh, the other one, uh, and this has been a well established technology for almost last six decades now. And then uh, recently for last one and a half decade, uh, VSC or voltage source converters, which we also called as HVDC plus in our Siemens terminology, uh, has been developed uh, and this uses IGBTs as the main uh, switching uh, device. So basically in HVDC uh, converter, uh, we have two uh, converter stations. One is at the sending end station, which is connected to a generating uh, network, generating station network. Then we have a transmission line overhead or a, a submarine cable or an underground cable. And then we have a receiving station, which again converts from DC to AC and then feeds power into the load centers. This uh, generally HVDC is being applied for bulk power transmission over long distances because then it provides uh, uh, cost advantages compared to AC transmission, as you know, and also we save in the line right of way uh, requirement. That means the line corridor is much smaller for a given amount of power. So therefore there are uh, capital expenditure savings, as well as there is operational expenditure savings because of lower losses in case of HVDC technology. Uh, the main difference between LCC and uh, VAC is coming because of the switching device, because in case of uh, uh, LCC technology, since we are using thyristors, uh, it's not possible to reverse the current direction. So if we want to reverse the power direction, we have to reverse the voltage polarity of this converter, which in the in case of VAC, you can change the current, current direction and therefore achieve uh, the reverse power direction. So that means from station two to station one, also power transmission is possible. That means reversing the power direction by changing the current direction. In case of LCC, this is being done uh, basically by changing the voltage polarity, but the current direction remains same. And uh, this voltage polarity can be reversed either by changing the firing angle of the thyristors or having a polarity reversal uh, switches. So this makes bit complication in case we have a multi-terminal because this scheme is shown as a two terminal point A to point B uh, connection. But if there's a multi-terminal scheme, then we need a special uh, polarity reversal switches if it's a multi-terminal scheme. Point to point is also possible without polarity reversal switches because then the power direction can be simply changed by changing the firing angles. 